Good morning. Welcome to Color All the Things. <clears throat> As you can see, I have happy mail. Um, I did do a live stream yesterday. I was so spastic in it that I deleted it, um, even though I showed pretty much everything except the Cobra. So I'm going to go through it again. Less spastic this time. Less interruptions from my phone and texts between my husband and yada yada. I'm still waiting to hear. For those that were at my live stream, um, I'm still waiting to hear. For those that were not, my landlord yesterday, um, pretty much 15 minutes before I started my live stream, texted and said, hey, do you want to buy the house? <laughs> and I'm like, ah! <coughs> Excuse me, my allergies are kicking. Um, and so my husband started texting, we were texting back and forth, and then there was Girl Scout cookie stuff going on, so it was a very bad stream. I was not, um, I was not proud of, of how spotchy it was. <clears throat> and so I am just redoing it, ish. This is Happy Mail, I'll color on camera a little bit later. Um... So happy mail! Yay! As you can see, there's a lot of stuff. I have Mungyo pastels. I have the Cobra Black Widow pencils. I have three different books here. I will flip through the books in a minute. Um, and yes, that is Villain San. Um, so I will I will do all that in just a minute. I'm going to set these to the side. This is my other Happy Meal, but it's not like for you guys. It's mostly for me. Um, here's my sheet to, to color on for the crayon or for the pencils. This is my new mat. The colors in this are so pretty. Um, I'll put a link. I'll put links to, to everything except for the villain sand. Um, I'll put a link to... The Facebook group where I got the group order from, um, but I'll put a link. I, I just, I love the colors in this. It's got oranges and yellows and blues and greens and it's, I, I brought this for inspiration and it's just, it's gorgeous. It's a, it's a mouse pad. So it's, you know, rubber on the bottom. It's squishy. So I wouldn't like draw on it. Um, but coloring in a book is just fine. Um, so this is this is my my happy. So let's look at the pastels first. These are the Mungyo pastels. Um, so when I went to go buy these, there were two. Let's, let's not do four. There were two. <laughs> there were two. The, this package, which I've seen around for a while, and a yellow package. Same count, same colors, roughly 75 cents, a little under a dollar difference. Um, I wasn't going to pay a dollar for basically the same thing, so I got, I got these. Now, it comes in a, a nice, it's got a sleeve that looks the same as the case. Basically, so your top doesn't just fly everywhere. Um, it is an import. I don't know if this is Japanese or Chinese. I'm very, very sorry. Um, my my land my landlord is Korean, so I, it it kind of looks familiar, but I don't think it's Korean. Um, so then it comes with. I I'm pretty sure this might uh, be color names and such, and I'm not sure. If anybody has a translation of this, let me know. It comes with a foam pad, fairly thick foam pad, with tracing paper, and then the pastels themselves. There's some gorgeous colors. Um, this green is really pretty. It is, I mean, I can just wipe off the, the gunk that was on that white pastel. It's not a huge issue. Um, they are small. Um, this is my pinky. I have rather large hands, but this is my pinky. Just barely past the first knuckle. 
about the same width diameter. Um, I've been told that they last though, um, that they're highly pigmented and they last. So, and for $7, if I go through a couple of colors, I just go buy another one. I mean, I don't see where that's a huge issue. Looks like you do get two whites, so you get the small white and then you get the larger white block up here and two blacks. So you get the black, the small black block and the larger, I shouldn't say larger, it's longer but skinnier black block up here. Um, nice off-white cream. Maybe it's two whites. I'll have to swatch them or something. They look awfully similar. Oh no, maybe this one's a cream and this one's white. Hmm. By the way, lots of nice backgrounds to be had. Um, <clears throat> I have tried my hand a couple times at pencil backgrounds and it hurts my hand. And I would rather save my hands for being able to color a picture and then use these on backgrounds. <clears throat> So that way I'm not killing myself. So, but that's these beautiful brights, beautiful darks. I like that there's just this huge um, range of colors. I like that. So that's the Mungyo pastels. Mungyo. That's those. And I am going to keep them in this sleeve because I have kids. And... Um, more than once they have taken something like this and not realized there's a lid on it. So now I don't have to worry um, about them um, picking it up funny and just the bottom dropping out. Um, so now one of the Black Widow Cobra pencils. I'm excited for these. They come in a nice tin. All the, the colors are written up here. Um, these are like the scorpions where the names are on them and everything. Apparently they also re-came out with the <laughs> original Black Widows in a tin with the names and, and colors on them. So I did not buy those. <clears throat> Sorry, my... The... There we go. It's really bright out, but then the sun's going in and out of clouds, so I've got the uh, light correction going. So I am going to um, then swatch these. So let's see mine in a bit. You don't need to look at that. I'm going to put the pen over here. Put my swatch paper right here. So I'm just going to go down the line. These are not in any type of color order. Um, so... Looks like this one is space. Really nice deep purple. And these are wax based pencils. They're pretty smooth. Dim gray. Don't need a ton of pressure to get good pigment out of them. I have the other two sets. I like them. Um, I haven't messed with them a whole lot. So I can't speak to how well they perform in some aspects. Charcoal. Um, but I just got it in there in that pile of books. I got two Create Space paper books. That's a nice dark gray. I got two Create Space paper books. And uh, I want to test these out. Flat black. So there was a black in the other, in the original... Black Widow pencils. This looks like cool. The other grays look kind of almost like a warm gray. This is a cool gray. Uh, chestnut. That's a pretty reddish brown. Like an Indian red. Um, so I plan on testing these out. Um, I didn't get the most horrible Create Space paper books. Tulip. 
nice light purple. Um, so I think these pencils will do very well. They're really easy to use. Um, they I used them a little bit in Romantic Country, Rattlesnake. Um, another orangey brick red color. Nice earthy, earthy color. I used them in one of the Romantic Countries and they layered okay. Um, Cobra, namesake. Nice green ochre. Um, but that's really a smooth paper, and I think these do would do better with a, a toothier paper. Uh, Aquarius. Now this paper that I'm using is actually 100 pound cardstock. It's pretty smooth, and they're not doing too bad. Oh, I like this teal. It's really pretty. So, I'm, I'm digging it. I like the colors. Great. I will have to put them in some type of color order between all three sets. Um, I wonder, there's numbers on them. I wonder if that's kind of what it's doing. I'm trying to think. That was great. Uh, purple haze. I'll have to see. The only problem is I don't have the original Black Widow box to know what's what color. That's okay. I'm not going to buy the um, the other one. I don't need it. I had a problem with my black and the original Black Widow, and so they they sent me another box. So I have two boxes of the Black Widows. So I'm not dying to buy another one. Forest. Some nice greens. This is a not re really a rainforesty type palette, but pretty close. Venom. Get some nice deep greens, some pretty purples in here. There's four purples right now. Three grays. I'm up to three greens, two reds, blood diamond. Um, I remember Erin from Simple Art for Adults. If you don't check out her channel, you really should. Um, she was saying she couldn't, I think it was her, she was saying she couldn't find a really good red. So I think there's like three reds in here, a deep red. Um, yeah, so there's a pinky red. This is an orangey red. So deep red is an orangey red. Uh, fire. And this is almost a vermilion. Or a pale geranium, depending on... <laughs> depending on um, what pencil set you tend to associate colors with. Fancy pink. See, Derwent, I think, is it's a pale geranium, and Polychromos, it's a vermilion. That's a pretty pink. Lots of flower colors. Lots of earthy colors. Bubblegum. Yum. Um, I When I flicked my hand over that, I did notice it streaks, which I think is Prismas do the same thing, so... <clears throat> I'll hold this up when I'm done. Sunset. Beautiful orange. Oh, that reminds me of a Prismacolor. Was it Sunset Yellow? Sunburst Yellow. Sunburst Yellow. It's really pretty. Nugget or Nougat. No, Nougat is N-O-U. Nugget. Yellow Ochre. It's pretty. Mustard, which I think is going to be a, a yellow brownish color, a deeper yellow ochre, some more like the one of the Naples yellow out of Polly's. Um, gold. I 
actually looks to be more of a fleshy tone than an actual gold color. Oh, this one's stuck. Here we go. Light yellow. Oh, and that is a pale buttercup cream type color. There's all the colors. Let me hold this up for you. Get out of the oh well, sunbeam light. So there's all the colors, and that's that's true to life. Um, yeah, that's true to life. So I said these are more of warm grays. That's kind of a cool gray. You've got a greenish ochre color, um, or like uh, Polly's green gold. You've got a nice set of greens here some really nice reds you have three different reds so you've got a uh, red that leans to the pink a red um, this would be what I would consider a true red it's a it's a cold red it, it leans a little more orangey but it's very like midline this is another like a vermilion or a pale geranium got some pinks got some nice nice yellows in here a good cream a good fleshy fleshy yellow, almost like an ivory. It's pretty close. So I like the colors here and they'll, they'll be a great addition to the other two sets. So yay. Let's put these aside. Where'd I put my lid? There it is. So that was the Black Widow Cobras. Let me zoom back out. That was the Black Widow Cobra edition. 24 pencils per set. Each set roughly seven, I think I paid $17.99 plus tax. Oh. So uh, it, Amazon has weird list prices and I never, I never really trust those. Um, but they said the list price was something like 40 bucks. I'm like, no, nah, I don't think I'd have paid 40 bucks for that, but I'll pay 17. So, on to the books. This is Fairy Tales Doodle Adventure, illustrated by Ronnie C. Pios. Um, but if you search it, that's Julia Rivers. Is It's kind of like the Jade Summer in books where they have, um, what, it, what did it Aaron say? She said they were ghost illustrators. Um, but I love fairy tales. I think they're cute. And look at, I mean, this is like the chibi cutesy, overly, overly cutesy stuff. So this is Create Space Paper. My Create Space books, um, now that I've moved to North Carolina, are made in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, the paper is, oh, you get to see what all they have, too. So that's cool. I didn't know they had all this. I've been looking at the Dynomon. So we get some books back in there too so the the paper's really smooth um it's, i mean it's got tooth to it it's very flimsy paper it's it's create space paper but it's the higher end create space um it depends on where you live what 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 printing shop it comes out of and then it depends that then tells you what paper you get uh back when i lived in ohio I got a Selena Fennec book and it was printed on the crappy, crappy, I think it's Kentucky, um, the really, really crappy paper. Um, like nothing will get into the tooth of that paper without like drowning it in Gamsol. But so Hansel and Gretel, this is a cute little book. I love it. Um, not all of the pages are outlined like this. Like, I know Jade Summer does that on all hers, but not all of these are. Um, but they're just cute. I mean, I could go in with markers and a little bit of uh, pencil and just be done with this. So I got this for times when I'm tired of the serious pictures or the detailed pictures, and I just want to take some markers and go to town. Um water-based alcohol-based I prefer alcohol um, doesn't really matter this paper will take it um, 
super cute and they mix all of them so it's never just it's not always just like one so that was Hansel and Gretel that I could recognize this one I'm not entirely sure looks like a mishmash of stuff um, maybe it's princess and the pea I mean there's just a huge mishmash that looks like Godzilla or no um, King Kong that looks like um, Mega Man so there's a whole bunch of stuff there's there's mushrooms and dragons and, and stuff oh my so there's three little pigs three little pigs a little bit of Humpty Dumpty I'm not even sure what this is so it is a mishmash of of all the fairy tales into into a couple different pictures so uh, Rapunzel Rapunzel throw down your hair So I don't remember there being a flying witch in Rapunzel, so no. But this is, I mean, this is adorable, right? Cute little pictures, easy, quick. I don't even know what this one is. Mom, mom, I'm okay. <laughs> it just, it's adorable. It has a little bit of a Kirby Roseanne's feel to it, um, but this is distinct. The old woman in the shoe with all the kids. Though I don't see the old woman anywhere. Um, maybe. This is a mix between Little Mermaid and Frog Prince. But I mean, it's cute, cute little things. You can, you know, practice your. <coughs> Practice color schemes. I think that's what this would be really good for, is practicing color schemes on to, to find ones that you really, really like. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and the Pied Piper and um, Jack and the Beanstalk and Little Red Riding Hood. Sleeping Beauty, maybe. Not Three Little Pigs. Little pig, little pig, please let me in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. Not sure what this one is. Maybe, maybe Rumpelstiltskin? But it is, I mean, this is heavily borrowed from Kirby Roseanne's and I'm, I'm starting to feel just a little uncomfortable about that. Um... And the and the part the parts that are making me uncomfortable are the um, the clouds, the waves, and then these little wiggly lines, um, and even the birds. I can highly like the fish. This is really this is really making me uncomfortable. Uh, I, I mean, it's cute. It's a cute book. I do not believe that this illustrator, Ronnie C. Pios, maybe he studied under Kirby, maybe he studied with Kirby, um, Kirby Rosanne's, but I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable with how close some of these things are. Um, I I may actually write I don't know let me know in the comments how you feel about that um, so I'm not like this one's fine this one's perfectly okay I don't see anything this is unique to me this is a unique piece. Um, even that monster looks like a Kirby monster. I mean, look, no, no, this is bad. I mean, look at that guy. That's exactly, hold on. I didn't even pull up the page it's from. I 
and I can pull up the page it's from because I'm into them. I've done it. I did the whole spread. I mean, look at the. Uh, hold on. Now I just have to find it. This isn't the one I colored it in. I have I have three copies of this. Um, so here's here's a good look at the waves, the wave stuff that that Kirby does, and and then the smoke. I mean, it's just it's too similar for comfort, especially especially this stuff. Um, and then and just the fish. Where are those fish? And those are the birds. This is gonna drive me bonkers till I can find it. Those little it's the Enchanted Forest page spread. I know you know what I'm talking about. Here we go. I mean look at them. Look at these. That's Kirby Roseanne's little fairy guys. There's his birds. There's his uh, squiggle things that come up out of all of his grass and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm a little uncomfortable with this book, y'all. I've, I've got to say, I'm not, not, I'm not pleased. Um, so then, see, there's the, there's the weird guy. I don't know if he's got a fish in this one or not. I don't really see a fish in this one. But it, it's it's too close for comfort. This is now getting too close for comfort for me. Um, shoot. I mean, what do you do? What do you do? So this... I wasn't actually going to say anything about this. Um... Because I'm pretty sure either the post was deleted or I was blocked um, by the person. But somebody posted um, a side-by-side -side of their, their artwork, their colored artwork. And one they thought somebody had taken, photoshopped, desaturated it, and then changed the the tag name and posted it as hers. Um I did not take their emotions into consideration when I went logical and there were multiple things changed on the copied image. Um to me it wasn't a photo I was going, "Oh, it, but it's not a Photoshop job." This looks more like somebody mimicked you, which was still bad in my mind, but I never said it. And I, I feel terrible for the way I went about this. I was not presenting um, my thoughts clearly. I was not taking their emotions and their hurt from being copied in such a way that it almost looked photoshopped that I this person spent a lot of time to exactly color this thing in, in such a way that if you didn't know photoshop or that its capabilities or even how much time it can take to do something like that you would have you would have yeah that was photoshopped um I I I did photoshop for quite a few years and so I know the time it takes um, a casual such as me. I mean, I, I, I did casual stuff. I did personal things. It was, it was always for fun, but I, I would spend days working on an image. Um, so, I, but, but the point is, I did not help ease their emotional distress over being copied. Um, I was going to do a whole thing on this. I'd even made up, 
Look, I even made a a terrible thing. Um, stealing is bad, yo. I mean, let's just let's just call a spade a spade. Um, stealing is bad. Stealing other people's artwork where you're cropping, shopping. Crop and shop is just you take an image, you cut it out so that you're removing the watermark that's usually down in a corner or, or something. And you alter the color in such a way um, that it just makes it that much different. And then you post it as your own. And some people don't even go that far. They just like black out the watermark and just post it. That's bad. It's wrong. There's nothing to be gained. There is there is no monetary value at, at taking somebody else's hard work and posing it as your own. There's nothing to be gained. You won't gain notoriety. You won't gain friends. You won't gain a following because they will be able to tell. The people who do the amazing artwork that everybody is just like, oh my God, this is wonderful. Those, those people know their work and they have such a following that other people know their work. And I had the same problem. I used to write fan fiction. And I've had my work stolen and altered just enough that, you know, they thought they could get away with it. But my fans, they knew my work. They, they knew my writing. They knew my work. And they knew who to attribute it to. Um, so then that's crop and shop. Okay. <clears throat> I'm actually, oops, excuse me. I actually had to step away for a minute. My uh, my daughter wanted a fried egg. So anyway, where was I? I was gone for about 15 minutes. Nothing for you. I just paused the recording. Um, but yeah, so um, I, I, I deeply apologize to uh, that person who I, I, I was not... In my heart, I was sympathetic, but I was not over, overtly sympathetic... And, and, and with text, when you're typing something out on a computer, your emotions, your unspoken um, tone, tone doesn't make it in that text translation. Um, and so I, I didn't, when I, when I go logical like that, I, I don't insert the tone aspects that I would normally insert in other conversations. And I feel really bad for that. I feel very bad that I was not, I did not appear to be sympathetic. Um, and I was, I understood that she was upset that somebody stole her art. I was arguing over which one it was. Um, and that is, that is on me. Um, and that is, that is something I cannot apologize for enough. Uh, I doubt they'll see this, but um, hopefully for other people who sometimes get lost in the logic of something and don't see the emotional part that somebody else is talking from, um, hopefully that helps you. Um, but so there, there's crop and shop. We're using an editing program on a picture of an artwork. There is mimicry. And mimicry, um, you know, they say the, the, the mimicry is the, the best form of flattery. No, no, it is not. Um, and it's not because if somebody sees you take an entire color scheme and color everything exactly the same. I, I put four dots here and I put a red thing here and I put, and then I, I see it next side by side. Like, like, like with this, when, when I'm going through and I'm looking and it's, it's, Kirby's stuff. I mean, this is just, I mean, look at this. This is Kirby's. This isn't 
this is mimicry. He is mimicking a style of illustration. If you got permission, and he credited Kirby Roseanne's. Done. If Kirby said yes, and he credited Kirby, I would have zero issue with this. But if you can't ask permission and you can't credit, make your own. Just, and, and I understand there are people out there um, who cannot. For whatever reason, either the idea or the function of it in their brain, it just doesn't, like, work. Um, it took me a lot to develop my own style. And I'm still working on it. Constantly. But for some people, just doing that just doesn't click right. And so they do color-alongs. And color-alongs are a form of mimicry. But there is an expressed permission with request for credit. So if you do a Chris Chang color along from YouTube, they are, Chris Chang is assuming that by listing all the colors used and showing the process, that is expressed permission to mimic. Um, on her older videos, I remember her saying, please credit. Um, I haven't looked at the description of any of the new ones because I don't do color alongs. I'm, my brain can't mimic. I, I just can't do it. Um, and that, that's a function of my, my brain. Um, so I don't, I haven't looked to see if she's still asking for credit, but credit should be due. And I see a lot of people on, on, Facebook that are like, yeah, this is from the Chris Chang tutorial, and everybody knows what you're talking about. You don't have to link specifically, to like everybody knows what you're talking about. But just something as simple as that. Um, but if you can't ask permission, you can't mimic. You can't you can't do that because you you don't have permission. And asking permission may seem like really hard. Um, it's not. What's the worst they can say? And this is what I tell my husband all the time because he has a hard time like negotiating raises or, or something like that. And this is something my mom used to nail into my head. And it took until I was 30 to really get it. Um, what's the worst they can say? No. The, the no is the worst they can say. And what's that do? Okay, move on. That's it. It's done. No, 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 nothing more complicated than that. I'm actually going to look and see if there is any. Um, that's falling. Any credit to Kurt? This is killing me. Like, man, I'm going to have, I have to say something. Like, I'm going to try to take some pictures and, no, there's nothing. Oh, man. This is just killing me. I mean, some of this, this is really cute original work. I mean, look at this dude. This is really cute original work. And then you throw in Kirby's fish in his... There's more than one way to skin a cat. Not that I, not that I advocate skinning a cat. I was really bad at... But that's a saying. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Um... There's more than one way to run, to draw these things. I mean, this looks this looks very original. This is original. I don't see any elements that I'm like this feels copied. And this is original. And see that that's the part that kills me. Like this is a good illustrator. They're good. Why why do you have to to lift things? This is really sad. Um I can't advocate buying this. I'm I'm not even going to like 
flip through everything. But like, I'm like, I mean, this is my, I like this. I like it. I just, some of the elements. I mean, that's, that's Kirby's smoke. Heck, that's Kirby's smoke. That's close to his flower. And there's, I mean, it's different enough that I wouldn't really, but like the smoke. No. No, that's too, that's too similar. I can't. I feel really bad. I do. I mean, it's not exact. But it's just, it's dang close enough. And sometimes close enough. So, like... With um, plagiarism, close enough can get you thrown out of a college, you know? I don't know. I mean, they're so, like, this is, this is highly original, and it's adorable. I love this page. Why, why did you have to ruin some of the others with, with lifted... I mean, maybe that's the easiest way to... I don't know. Somebody somebody in those comments, let me know if I'm crazy. Um, I might be crazy. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm just putting... Maybe with that other thing so fresh in my mind. There's, it's just... When... It, Certain illustrators have certain styles, and you just recognize them. Um, and at some point, I, I guess I want to ask you guys, at what point is this just a style similarity versus lifting and mimicking? Because mimicking is bad without express permission, in my mind. Style is something wholly different. And it gets into a gray area. Like, yeah, maybe he, you know, saw a lot from Kirby Roseanne's and it just, it just morphed that way. Um, I know when I try to write for um, National Novel Writing Month, NaNoWriMo, I... Stop reading. Um, maybe two months beforehand. I stopped reading other people's work. Because I know me. And I will lift. And mimic. And accidentally copy. A style. Or a theme. Or, or something like that. Um, I, I do the same thing with my. My. Um, my speech, if I'm around a southerner long enough, I get a twang. Um, if I watch British television enough, I start calling people wankers. It just, it's, it's the way my mind works. I try to be conscious of it because I don't, I am not purposefully doing it. But I realize some people could see it as mocking and I'm not doing that. It's just my brain picks it up and then it's stuck. Um... So anyway, that's that book. Let me know in the comments um, your opinions on the illustrations in that book and the fairy tales book. I'm really curious. Um, and if I'm being silly, just let me know because I can be. I really can be and I know it. Um, but it, it just struck me. It, it gave me a little icky feeling. So when I get icky feelings, I tend to like shy away. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that book. I may return it. And, but anyway, on to happier things. May told, I asked her, which Misfits book should I get first? And she said, number four, the fairy one. I said, sure. Click. <laughs> and again, this is create space paper. Um, 
Boy, I'm hitting hard topics today, aren't I? I got another one with Villa and Sam. It's by White Stag. Um, she's on Etsy as well as Amazon. So, and I guess she's got like compilation volumes and best set, best ofs. And um, but this is another Create Space printed in Columbia, so it's the same smoother smoother paper. These are cute. Again, cute little illustrations. This is the cover photo. Cute little illustrations. Quick, some of them quick and easy. Um, that I figure I can work on. Maybe I, I need to figure out better skin tones. Or I need to figure out um, shading on dresses. Or how to do iridescent wings. Or... You know, making the moonlight go on water. Like, this is really good for that. Um, because the the illustration itself is fairly simple. And that way you're not focused on so many details. I can take one element I want to work on my technique on and focus. I can just color this normal and color the grass normal and just focus on how I want the moon reflected in the water. And that can be my focus. Um, and then the next page, I can go and focus on uh, shading on dresses or backgrounds. One second. Okay, sorry about that. Again, kiddo needed me. Um, it was two seconds for you. It was about a minute and a half for me. I was quick that time. I was super fast. See, I just, I pick up stuff, man. I'm just, I'm bad like that. Especially my speech. Um, so this one I could work on backgrounds, like a forest background, like, um, Laura Rafferty do, does these really good, uh, background tutorials on YouTube. Just really look her up. Um, so I could practice doing that on this, um, or even on this. Wow. But this one I could, I could work on hair. So, so each one of these illustrations, I'm, what I plan on doing is working on an aspect or technique that I really want to um, kind of hone, maybe, um, or just learn. So I'm not messing up something like Zumdris Nova, which is a fair bit pricier than a Misfits book. Um, no offense to White Stag. These are gorgeous illustrations. I really like them. Um, but I can replace this book much easier than I can replace some of my other ones. And so that, that's what makes them, them good practice books. Um, so this would be really good to work on all the little folds and shadows for that. Or even just reflection, reflecting water. That would be fun. Um, maybe work on night sky, you know. So I can take each one of these and do what I need to do. But these are so cute. Um, yeah, all the girls look a little sad. I think that's kind of the theme. Um, in, in all of her books, they're like that. <sighs> She got a fortune cookie as a snack, and now the, she loves fortunes, so. But these are really cute. This would be good to work on a background, too. And they're really adorable. They're sweet. I think May has already finished this book. She's got to flip through on her Instagram. Like, I can work on color, com you know, brightening up bright color combinations and stuff. Because I'm not a bright person. I'm really just not. Um, oh, Stormy Night. I like that. These are cute. Um, they're, they're simple. So if I just want to just sit and color without thinking too much, this would be good too. Um, instead of working on something, I can just do what I need to do. They're just so sweet. I'll have to get more. I was looking at the zombie one. 
I've I've been looking at white stag books, misfit books for gosh, almost as long as I've been coloring. I don't know why I didn't get any. I think I was afraid of like open space. <clears throat> so so cute. I'll link I'll link to this down below. Um the last book I have is another controversial book. And it's only controversial because of the difference in size between it and Zelda Snova. Uh, it is significantly, it is less than half the size. Um, I know everybody keeps emphasizing, oh, you know, it's, it's smaller, it's smaller, guys, it's smaller. Yeah, it's, it's smaller. Um, it's less than half the size. And even I wasn't like, I was like, oh, well, how much smaller can it be? A lot. <laughs> the, the answer is a lot. <laughs> uh, it does come with a poster. I do not believe that makes up for it. Um, but it is gorgeous nonetheless. It is a nice long picture of fairies and mushrooms and this beautiful little turtle um, and it just keeps going mouse with strawberries and it ends so this would this is a really nice long piece it's gorgeous it's well illustrated um, it's just really nice the price of this book is the exact same as Zalm Just Nova. Again, remember, that's for half the, less than half the size book. Um, and there are a lot of people upset about it, and, and honestly, rightly so. Um, I, I, so I did a flip through in the now deleted live stream from yesterday. And there was somebody on there who, she was really, I mean, she was, she was rightly, really upset. Um, and, and my suggestion to her and to, to anybody else who, who maybe has this book and is just like so taken aback by how small it is. There's a couple factors that kind of went into the size of this book. One was customer demand. After Zelm Nova, the demand for another book was massive. And, and, and on a scale that, that maybe Kirby had for uh, Phantomorphia, but he gave a year. This was done in, in, a, in a very short amount of time. Um, I don't know, and I'm giving the benefit of the doubt because I'm that type of person. I don't know how much say Tomislav Tomic had in time frame. He may have just been told, get us everything you can get in X amount of time. And this is what he could do. Um, I don't necessarily blame Tomislav Tomic for the size of the book. I just don't. Um, if I am going to like point fingers at somebody, um, it would be the, um, I, I don't know if he has an agent, but if he does, it would be the agent who would then, you know, the person who's constantly like, Hey, do you got this done? Hey, do you got this done? Hey, do you got this done? Because they're getting, um, just a second. Okay, once again. Um, that girl doesn't miss a trick though. So this is a this is a thinner book. So um I have no idea what this says. Same as last time. Um I will say that the the printing the the book binding and all of that, uh it looks to be stitched and glued. It's a bad print job. This was rushed. N no doubt at all, this was a rushed project. 
shame on the publisher and shame on Tomislav's agent. If he has an agent. I don't know if he has an agent. Whoever whoever decided to rush this, shame on them. Because I would have waited a year for another full-size book. Um, I think somebody got greedy. I think somebody saw the demand and then just dollar signs. And that was all they wrote. Um, I do suggest that if you you have issues... You make them known. Because here's the thing. So, well, I'm going to keep flipping while I talk. Otherwise, I'm never going to get this done. <laughs> um, so, here's the thing. Um, the voice of five, they can shrug it off. But the voice of 50, the voice of 500, that speaks louder. Um I would suggest contacting the publisher, Focus. Go to the website. It is, um, I think it's in Croatian. I think he's Croatian. Um, it isn't a different. Use Google Translate. Gosh, this is gorgeous. Use, <laughs> use Google Translate, find their email, and write them. And say, hey, this is a noticeably rushed job. I would have happily waited for a full book. Um, because as this is, it's the same good paper, it's the same gorgeous illustrations. Um, and they're not like, these are intricate. This isn't like, the, the illustrations were not rushed. Let me, let me be clear on that. The illustration, I mean, they were probably a little, but you can't tell. These are Tomislav Tomic illustrations. They're detailed and intricate. And you can't tell that if he was rushed, you can't tell it. Um, I mean, look at that. So... I'm not saying that the, the illustrations are part of the rush job. I'm saying getting them and getting it all put together and printed was a rush job. All they saw were dollar signs. And let me tell you, they're getting them. I would, I would really like to see the profit, or not even the profit, just the number of books sold on Zomjasnova versus number of books sold on Villain Sand. Um, I would like to see that difference. <laughs> um, cause I, I, I guarantee that they're not selling as many of these books because they are smaller. Um, but I, I, I bought it knowing it was smaller. I'm a little, I mean, I love the work. I love his work. I would gladly support him as an artist I'm I'm a little upset at the publisher and I will make my upset known um, as I've gotten older I've gotten more vocal oh she needs my help hold on oh God loves me for reminding me there's a pause button on here <laughs> uh, I'm back again um two seconds for you nothing for me or much more for me I don't know what I'm saying. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of upset at the, the publisher. I will write to the publisher as I'm getting older. I'm getting more vocal. Um, and I really encourage other people who are upset to write. Even if you're, even if you love the book, you're just upset that it's thinner. That's because it was rushed. Um, and if you're upset that it's thinner, let it be known. Um, do so politely, but firmly. Um, going into a rage doesn't help anybody. It doesn't help you because you're getting all worked up. And it certainly doesn't help your position because all the person on the other, hand, other side is going to see is rage. And they're just going to ignore you flat out. I, I hate to say it, but that is 
you that is how it works. I mean, you can be polite and yet be firm. Um, saying things like good day, hello, I'm sorry to be writing you, or not even say sorry. Uh, it, it is unfortunate that we have to speak under these circumstances. I mean, be, be professional. Act like you're writing to a, an employer. Um, be very courteous, be very professional, but be very firm. Um, the, it, it, it is highly disappointing to see such beautiful artwork put together in such a haphazard manner. You're not being rude. You're stating facts. And you're being firm. And that I, I can't... I can't emphasize that enough because I think if we all speak up, uh, hopefully we won't see this happen again because it's at a detriment to Thomas Lob Tomic and his fans. It's not at a detriment to the printer. The printer made money. They made bank. You know, the, the agent or, or whatever, they made bank. If you... Let them know that should they come out or, or, or something along the lines of I'm, I'm trying to mentally prepare my own my own email. Um, should I find out that another rush job is done on another book, I won't buy it. Um, I bought this one because I figured it, it can't be that bad. It is that bad. I mean, the. Gosh, the pictures are gorgeous, and this really upsets me. The pictures are amazing. I mean, that. Oh, look at that sunflower. I love sunflowers. And the dragon and the apple trees, and. Like, it's really amazing work. And to have it into such a cruddy book, the paper's fine. The spine is terrible. The um, the rush job on getting it printed and getting it pushed out and only having X amount of pages versus Zomjus um, Nova. That just screams greed and, and greed to what end? You know? If they keep this up. If they keep... Because here's what they're going to do. They're going to look at this and go, well, people paid that X price for this book, so we don't really have to pop out anything the size of Zomja Snova again. And I hate to say that, but that's the reality. Like, that's corporate, that's corporate reality. That's how they think. If I, if I can get more money or get the same amount of money with less product, yay, bottom line. Um, and I think we need to push back on that. I really do. Um, and then in a separate paragraph, I don't even think in the same email I would, I would mention, because it's not, I don't know. And that's where I'm having a hard time trying to come up with what I want to write. Because do I want, do I want to mention how much I love the illustration or not? Nope. And interruption number 52. Um, but so that's, I'm having a hard time deciding, do I say how much I love the illustration? Because I don't want, I don't want, ultimately I don't want this to hurt Thomas Tomek unless he's like complicit in the, in the money grab. Not that I blame him for wanting to get paid. Dude should get paid. I mean, let, let, let's, dude, dude should get paid. I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's getting paid. Um, this is, this is bad. It's really bad. It's not even, it's not even a pinky finger width. So I'm having a hard time. Do I, do I say something positive in the email in which I am complaining, basically? Um, but not complaining. I am stating facts of which I am, I am unhappy as a consumer. Um, 
So, I don't know. That's a dilemma. And if you've got any ideas or thoughts or... Do you think? And interruption 562. So that's where I'm at. Leave a leave a comment down below with your thoughts on the matter. Do you are you are you okay playing paying the same amount for vastly different uh, I guess quantity I I don't know. I'm not com I'm not comfortable with it. I don't like it. Um so let me know. Leave comments on anything I've discussed, any of your thoughts. I really appreciate it. I like knowing other people's thoughts on the matter because um, my opinions are just that. They're my opinions. And I am open to changing them should, um, should somebody change them. So, but that's it. That's my... That's my happy mail, my PSA, my rant. What else? Is what else? Um, if you've made it this far, thank you. Um, thank you, new subscribers. Please like and subscribe. And please leave some comments down below, both on this and the weird similarities between Kirby Roseanne's and this fairy tale's doodle adventure book. So... I'll see you later. Bye-bye.